shining, diamond, shining, shining. Oh boy, you so fine. Gotta be the finest thing that I've seen in my life. Hey Zodiacs, welcome back to Zodiac Games. My name is Aries. Um, we're gonna continue. We're gonna not continue. We're gonna start a new game. And Resident Evil Village just came out on Friday, and this is the first day I managed to have to myself so I can actually play it and record it for you guys. I haven't played it. I've only tried the demos, which were freaking awesome. Like, mwah, beautiful. <coughs> now, I'm going to try and make this video a little bit less edited, somewhat. Um, I'm going to try and cut out the really long, boring bits at least. So that way you're not too bored. Um, um, otherwise, I'm going to play the Remembering Resident Evil 7 little video. Because I haven't played it yet. I do want to, I just don't have it. I'll get there. One day I'll, I'll play all the Resident Evils, but still. Um, in the meantime, we're going to watch this. So that way I know what the hell happened. Alright, let's, uh, let's play. Ooh, movie time. Where's the popcorn? Okay. Where to start? The beginning. My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked Jesus. me like some kind of wild animal. <clears throat> when I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. Oh. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. Is it though? Okay, well that's good to know. And they didn't really spoil much of anything, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dive right into this bad boy. Standard! Because I like to fuck myself over. Let's do this. I'm excited. Oh, I hope it's as good as the demos were. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Uh oh Yet determined <clears throat> to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, That's menacing fucked. storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. <clears throat> then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. 
Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. That's a dark story! She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved mm. here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Oh, I oh. Did all you right. say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Wow. I Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. That'll be nice. Oh. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. This is a big freaking house. Oh. Okay, well, that's the shower. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. That'd probably be a good idea. Seriously, where is this kid's bedroom? And what is this? Your mom and I love this song so much. Oh. Almost there, honey. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Oh. Now that's a good dad. Oh. He and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but. I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose 
without it hanging over our heads. We are that much, at least. I know Mia knows this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Okie doke. Rosemary Winters. Uh, all results show no issues. Patient in good health. Results for her. Tests will be SSA. Rose is fine. Where's his favorite toy? It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. I, uh, I mean, that's <laughs> fair. This is pretty cute, not gonna lie. I wish it could stay like this forever. Got a good pace on him. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum, the local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening. Maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? Oh boy. It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <laughs> Mia! Get down! What the Mia. fuck?! <laughs> what is happening?! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? What the fuck? Why? What the fuck, Redfield? Go move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Package? Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Woof. <laughs> what are you doing with my kid? Never thought I'd say this, but I'm gonna kill him. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Ooh. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just want Mia, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk, talk to, to me. me. Damn it. 
I have to take this. Shit. She's so cute. I hate it when babies are involved. This baby better not die. I will look for you. Seriously. I you're will gonna see some ugly crying if the baby does die. And I will kill you. Okay, maybe not some. A lot. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on my phone. Fuck. No, read what the, the file! Oh, oh, okay. Uh, mission eliminate target, recover body. Secure Rosemary and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Can I crouch? Oh, I can crouch. I can't move in. Fuck, dude, you're making this sound like it's a Winnipeg winter here. Why do I feel like that's a bad thing? Okay. Jesus. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Can I run? That's a lot of dead crows here. Or ravens. I don't know. It's a lot of dead birds! <laughs> ah! Fuck! Jesus. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Dead fish. Yeah, let's go towards the bloodstained door. Give me a knife, at least! That doesn't help me. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, whoa, what's going on up there? Ah, Why? No, I don't want to! No! Fuck! Okay. Okay. Please don't jump out. Please don't jump out. I apologize in advance for all headphone wearers. Please, please turn down your headphones. 
I don't want you guys to lose your hearing. If it's gonna do what I think it's gonna do. Who the fuck? Okay. Fucking fuckers. No! Lord have mercy on my soul! Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Do I... Fucking fucker. I'm not moving, which means... want to know we're leaving now bye thanks for your hospitality sorry your house was trashed where the hell am I awesome bruh look at that freaking castle I'd get lost in a single tower Jesus! Whee! Let's slice ourselves up more. That's a smart idea. Oh, this is a fresh kill. Look at that steam! Maybe, maybe they're out? Or, you know, maybe they're dead. You know... I don't like this. No, no I don't. There's nothing up there. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Little cat carrier. I'm not scared, you're scared. Fudge. I'm trying to watch how much I swear. It's not working very well. Okay. Okay. This is all. Do not enter. Sure, you got it. That's also locked. Where can I go? Excuse me while I just, you know, shit myself here. Just... Of course it's locked. It's 
about to say that's really dark. Thank you for uh, uh uh Ooh Oh Oh Okay. Did they just run out of the house? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no! They're coming. Who is? Who is? What the hell was that? Toby, shush. Um, what? Please tell me you have a gun. No. Why would I? What is happening? Who am I shooting? Hey, are you listening? Hey! What the actual fuck? Oh shit! Oh! Oh God! Dead body. There's more than just one. Wait, there's more. Exam. Jesus Christ! I don't think he's here. What the hell is wrong with this place? I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, fuck! Well, stop the bleeding! Dunk it in snow! Kill the thing! No. L1, L1, L1! Is it dead? Okay, now is there something I can use to stop the 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 the, the bleeding? Cam fluid. Yeah, let's use that. Herb. Yeah, cool. Let's use that too. Bolt cutters. Because why am I going to need those? And suddenly the hole in the ground is gone. I guess this is the only way. Ah. I got it. Uh-uh. You can have it.
Ah, I don't want to go through the house. No! This is how I'm gonna die. What is happening? How do I? Oh, oh. Unlikely. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Come on. Oh, don't do this to me. Fuck, fuck. Oh. Oh. There's two of you. Shit. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. I'll take that. Uh, it's full of gunpowder. Great. Great. It's kind of useless because I don't have a. Oh. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. Run! What is that?
no, 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 so much no. shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. Oh. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. No shit. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? So Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> I don't want to be out here. Rose is here? I can save. Oh, thank God I can save. Nope. Finger shit. Stay. Please don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. <laughs> Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering, and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh, stuff it, old man. We're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. Mm hmm. Okay. <coughs> well, he sounds like he's dying. Oh. Okay. Excuse me, I need to poop my pants. This one is actually quite nice. Uh, well, the only place he is uh, here. <coughs> Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. Uh, took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. 
That's every man. Do not we'll apologize for them. They're assholes. We'll be... Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Most of them. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Watch! Well, if Elena trusts you, and so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Oh, thank you. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Okay. So we're gonna pause here, and I will continue on in a little bit again. Um, thank you so much for watching me play this game. It's so far been really good. It's just mwah. It's amazing, honestly. Um, otherwise, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment about why. Um, if you wanted to see the edited version, just follow me on YouTube, Zodiac Games 2020. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>